Hey guys, Coach Andrew again, welcome back. I'm now going to show you just three small little drills and stuff you can do for handstand work at home. Preferably when you do stuff like this, you want to make sure you find a hard surface, something that you can easily rest your feet against that won't easily fall over, like a wall or like this brick post that I'm going to be using here. Make sure that for you kids at home, when you do this, you're doing it with parent supervision, okay? And make sure that you are absolutely sure you do everything safely and you follow the instructions given. Now, I'm going to show you three different drills and they should be very easy to do if done correctly. Now, this is going to be the first drill, which is going to be simply keeping our arms nice and squeezed against our ears and basically making an L shape, so like that. But for me, it's going to be like that. Make an L shape with your arms and back vertical to the floor and your legs are going to be horizontal to the wall that you're on, okay? Second is going to be a handstand with your belly facing the wall. So if I were to do a handstand against the wall here, I'm basically going to be facing like that. So I'm going to have my belly facing the, the wall right here. Third one is going to be the hard one. Make sure you definitely do this with parent supervision. You're going to do a handstand against wall. You're going to make sure that you keep your arms nice and squeezed, okay? You're going to keep your legs nice and tight and point your toes when you reach for the wall. And make sure, guys, don't rush it. Take your time. This is easy stuff that you can learn at home. Make sure, though, that you do not do the handstand against the wall with your back against the wall particularly until you've perfected the L shape and you've perfected the handstand with your belly against the wall. All right, guys, let me show you how they're done. Alright, so with our L handstand, there are just a few things we need to make sure we reiterate and we uh, think about when we're doing that. So when you're holding your L shape, there are three things you need to keep in mind. That we're squeezing our arms nice and tight, that we're not bending our elbows, and we're not letting our shoulders just drop like that, and our head to droop like down like that. Secondly, we need to make sure that we are squeezing our legs nice and tight, using those muscles that you've got when you're holding your legs against the wall. All right, remember, if they're floppy and you bend your knees and stuff, you're just going to fall down. So you've got to keep them nice and squeezed. So squeeze our arms really tight and our shoulders and our legs. And finally, make sure we're squeezing that core because, again, that is the main thing holding you up. So that if you let that go and get all sloppy in your belly, then you'll basically fall to the ground. So we're gonna make sure that we keep our arms squeezed, legs tight, and keep that core really squeezed. All right, sweet, let's do the next one. Okay, handstands with our belly against the wall. Now with this one, we gotta keep in mind that it's very similar to what we did with our L handstand. You're keeping your arms squeezed nice and tight, making sure that your shoulders are against your ears, all right? That is very important, keeping your head squeezed against those shoulders. You also wanna make sure again, same with your belly, you're keeping that belly nice and tight. If you let that loose, you're going to fall and you're going to release all those muscles and make your whole body look sloppy. Now, when you're getting up into your handstand, when you're against the wall, make sure you take your time. Don't just rush your feet up the wall, otherwise you're most likely gonna slip down or you might accidentally over-rotate and fall over. What you want to do is you wanna take little steps at a time to walk your feet up to the point where you can simply point your feet just like that against the wall. And look, you don't need to be flat against the wall. Being at a nice angle like that is a perfect start of working towards your handstand. So guys, just keep in mind again, keeping that arm squeeze, keeping your legs nice and tight, and that core squeeze, point your toes when you reach the top of that wall, and at an angle. All right, sweet, so we'll do the next one.
Alright guys, final one. So full handstand against the wall. This time your back will be facing the wall. Now, when you're doing this one, we want to make sure that we're actually now working on our lunge shape. Now, when you do your lunge, you need to remember that your lunge should be your knee covering your big toe. That is this big toe right here. Alright, your back leg needs to be straight. So we don't want to see any leg like this. We want to see a nice straight back leg. Your arms need to be all the way from here, nice and squeezed, hiding into your ears. Hand all the way will follow down a straight line from your hands down your back all the way to your feet. So your entire body shape, except for your lunge leg, should be like that. Now, when you do your lunge, make sure you push really strong from your ankles. We don't want little pushes like that, okay? Really strong, really strong push with lots of power in that leg. Now, from your lunge, you're going to push up, get one foot onto the wall, and again, with parent supervision, all right, what you can do is get them just to help you lift your other leg against the wall. Now, make sure if you watch the video, all right, that I've shown you, you want to make sure that your body's just at a nice little angle again, just to give you that extra support. We've got to make sure we squeeze our arms nice and tight, keep our legs nice and straight, point your toes, and of course, squeeze your tummy. Now, to finish off when you're coming down from your handstand, there is one big thing you need to remember is that you come back down into your lunge, which again, if I show you, is this shape. So when you push up that wall, you want to come back into this shape, all right? That is your aim. So make sure you keep that in mind, guys. And other than that, they, they, they're just these little drills I just hope I could show you to do your handstands with at home. Again, make sure you do it safely, have fun with it, and don't rush at all. Alright guys, get hard working, I'll see you later.